Mendoza kid, mm-hmm. that Cal, Cal USC a while ago. Mm-hmm. He threw for nearly 300 yards, two oh. touchdowns. Yeah, they had a great game. Stanford had a great game. So, Washington Huskies, am I going to move them out of my – well, we're not going to have the Wednesday night show, by the way. It'll be Tuesday, Halloween night. I've already shared this on YouTube for subscribers. You've already seen the post come up. It's got the little ghost in the corner and the cobwebs. It'll be the college selection show. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll, we'll get you more about it. going to come on. Yeah, Washington. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're curious to see where they're going to be at. Yeah, that is interesting. Matt, I – What other ones you got? <laughs> Before we break any down, and I'm not happy about it at all, but North Carolina loses to Georgia Tech, 42-42. Oh, I didn't even write that down. I was so disgusted by that. They they had a 42-32 to 32 lead. Great stats. Had 500 yards. It's, May had a good game. It's like you pull for these teams. Hayes King, though, for Georgia Tech, four touchdown passes. See, well, he's, he's from a, Miami. Hayes he came from King. Miami, came yeah. from Miami. And, and the kid at Mississippi State, we'll talk about Mississippi State Auburn in a minute. You know, Yeah, Michael. That, that right. right. He's from Vanderbilt. I picked Vanderbilt to be great because of him. He left. He left. He but left. Anyway. But uh, that was a shocker to me. That's too Barry, straight. Barry, uh, I don't understand what's going on. And now Georgia Tech is beating North Carolina and Miami. Oh, what is going on? Uh, well, this whole thing, you know, the Pac-12 talk, you know, mm-hmm. was – and I'm, I'm getting to the point of for the ACC. The whole thing the whole year was, you know, the Pac-12 is big, this, this awesome. They may not have a team make it. No, I, I don't I, think they will. You see what I'm saying? I think it was Benton that said that. I, I'll have to agree. They may not have a team. Now, the ACC, who's rocking along here? What do we got going? Miami beats Virginia in overtime, same as last year. Florida State hammered Wake. Like they should. Uh, uh, we talked about Clemson a while ago. They dump another game. Louisville, Duke. Duke couldn't even score. Louisville God. beat them 23 to nothing. Louisville just shut him out. I thought Duke might win that Well, game. the Leonard kid just was the guy. Uh, did he just get his arm ripped off? Did he play with one arm like the guy from uh, Washington that we talked about from 1930? <laughs> that Ball. had the interception. Had one eye and one arm. I'm just kidding. He had one eye. Had like four. He led the team in picks. <laughs> oh, I one. thought he did have one arm. <laughs> no, but he had one eye. But what happened? Uh, What's going on with Duke and Carolina? Duke the Carolinas. Can't get on. Both of them. Yeah. Going down, you Did know. Something blowing the air across there, some come across the ocean. Which we're not going to break it down, but South Carolina loses to Texas A&M 30 to 17. That just wasn't a good. That, I went back and watched highlights today, but I'm just still not impressed with A&M. I'm not. No, no, no. I do like their quarterback, though. I do. I like Max Johnson. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know, Matt. Twenty three to nothing. How many? Let me see how many yards Duke Duke had. They yeah. didn't Louisville Duke. Let's see. We fix to get into Kentucky and Auburn guys. Just why? Little Alabama. Yeah, and, we just uh, did. <clears throat> we just talked about Georgia. Just that we kind of let off with them. Twenty three to nothing. Players, team stats. Duke had two hundred yards, Matt. Oh God. You see a lay play is Arizona at Arizona. Well, that may be a good game. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Riley Leonard is playing hurt. Nine for 23 for 121 yards. Ten carries for 13. I think he's playing hurt, and it's hurting Duke. Yeah. Because his numbers aren't like that. I well, mean, you got to pull him, man. You can't just leave him you in You got there. to. So, you got to. The ACC is in a mess. Pac-12 is probably not going to have a team make it. But, but. JT Daniels is still playing football at Rice, and they lost two lane, thirty to twenty eight. They ain't telling about the game. game. Yeah, we wound up. We went. I flip it over there and uh, tell him tell him why how we wind up there. He comes over. He's going. He stops by back for gas and on his before he I'm goes on his going. date. <laughs> so we're just kind of shooting the breeze about what kind of happened, you know, the earlier games, and all the others just some smoke fest. Oh, they were terrible. So I flip it over to ESPN Plus. Three channel twenty seven point eight four C. It was the best game. Uh, yeah, it was the best. And I told Matt, I said, Matt, did you ever think I'd be sitting in here and we'd be watching Tulane and Rice? It was the best game of the day. The game ended on uh, Tulane had the ball. Yeah, and he throws it. Uh, the coach told him he says, just throw it straight up in the air, mm-hmm. and it hit the ground like you know one second or something. It's, I've never seen a play a game in that way. Have you? No, no, that was very odd. Weird. Throw it straight up in the air, hard as you could. But right when Matt flipped it over there, we see this long touchdown pass, and the boy's got McCaffrey on there, and yep. it says Luke McCaffrey. Yeah, the guy pulled his helmet off as he's tackling McCaffrey in the end zone. Yeah. So McCaffrey used to be Nebraska's quarterback. Yes. And about that time, Matt goes, is that JT Daniels that threw off. it? 
And was it like, was J T Daniels. Was he thirty two? <laughs> Is he like that that Will Farah character on, you know, the college movie where he just won't he don't never graduate? So J T probably he's twenty eight record he's kind of setting, playing for his fourth school, played for West Virginia, started, started at okay. USC, started at Georgia, now he's starting it right. He's a good quarterback. No, he's okay, yeah. He did he kind of got to a bad end of well, why left West Virginia. I don't know. He wanted to go to Georgia or something, I guess. He went 10-2 and two at Georgia. Yeah. That was his career record at Georgia. And Stetson wound up somehow beat him out. Yeah, that's what. Well, he was hurt. He that was injured. Off. And then Stetson had a good year, <clears throat> and it's just like, no, we're not making a change. Uh, but West Virginia, now he's at Rice, and I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I don't, I don't think he can go anywhere else. He's 20. I, I swear to God he's 27. He's got to be. He's probably in his – he's 25 at least. You mean a look? <laughs> no. Yeah, well, he's too old to be playing football with a bunch of 18, 19 year old kids. Four, four years he's played four, four different schools, which may be a record. And why know it is? It's 110% a record. But McCaffrey, how about yeah, McCaffrey? He looked good, great. Yeah, good athlete, man. You can tell. Uh, yeah. Congrats to Lane on that game. Uh, yeah, 30 to 28. That was a yeah, good one. It was a good game. Uh, another, another score here. Tell me about Jeff's the. 24 to 10 over Wisconsin. Wisconsin's, they've won five, six games, five games. They're good. They're five and three. Well, I'm going to say two, one name, Trevion Henderson. Yes. I'm calling 180 yards. 162 yards. Did you see that last one he broke? Yeah. That was ridiculous. He's a Henderson. He's getting early now. <laughs> he, can't he, he lived up at Crossroads back in the day. <laughs> uh, he had 162. McCord, another good game. Decent. It wasn't mind boggling, but it was good. But the big thing is the Ohio State defense. Are they for real? They only give up 260 yards. Right? Uh, well, and of course Harrison had another two, 200 yards. Finkel's the coach, right? Yes, Ray Finkel, the, at Wisconsin. Yes, Luke. <laughs> yeah, Ray. Finkel Ray oh yeah, Ray the kick for the Finkel's Miami. Nine. Yeah, I, he's he's trying, and he's got to put him a squad together. And this is first year out there. Uh, good hire, like I, he coached at Louisville. I, they they darn they made the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. So, give him a little bit of time. He's y'all good. Just, y'all He's hang good. in there with him. Don't don't run him off yet, Wisconsin, because Wisconsin's they're always normally you know decent, uh, pretty good team. Yeah, I don't think they're bad. They played Ohio State good, but still only wound up with two fifty nine. But Henderson's the star of that game. One hundred sixty two yards on twenty four carries. He'd been out most of the time. I enjoyed watching him run the ball. Yep. They they needed him to be healthy if they're gonna make a run at this thing. He did throw two picks. Daniels is he's only twenty three. When did he start playing? When he was twelve. He's been to five colleges. That's just because he's played it so many. Yes, he did coach it at Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he got Cincinnati to the playoffs. Yes, he did. I and mean, Alabama, we played them. You know those. Few I didn't years ago. think they were very good no, compared to who. The, no, was in well, the crap. Who's? I mean, darn. They know. didn't play terrible. No, though. it's okay. I mean, for for what they had, mm-hmm. it was good. So Ohio State, uh, McCord, like you said, they throw twenty six balls. They threw for two hundred twenty six. Egg Buka still out. <laughs> Stover didn't play. What's going on with him? I don't know. Uh, Jeff, is Egg Booker coming back? Uh, you got to have him and Henderson and all them healthy for a run, I would I said, think. Uh, JT was born in 2000. Huh. So he's just played a lot of places. It seems like he's been So he just moved long. every year? He, every year. So he played a year at West Virginia, moved. Year at Georgia, moved. He to played at USC. USC. He, he, he started at USC. He started at USC. So at he, did he ever play there? He played at Mater D. Yeah. He did play because it seemed like, did they? Or right before the season even started, he went. I don't remember. I think he played at Major Major D right I mean, after Young. But I'm talking about when he's at USC. Did he ever take the field? Man, seems yes. like he, he did. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking he didn't even play a snap. He left in the summer and took off. I'm sorry, I'm wrong on that. Young followed that. Yes, right. Yeah. Mm. And Young's in the NFL. Young's in the NFL, and JT's playing at Rice. Okie dokie then. So the moves on, and we will have that show again, guys. Tune in six o'clock. Well, come on back 15 minutes later because we're going to say kind of what we like uh, for the Tuesday night show. Come on, hang out with us Tuesday night. Just tune in about 5 30, 5 40, and we'll get things started. Um, Matt, not 
about Oregon State loses. That was an upset. Arizona's on the climb. The only they reason are, I mentioned that is because you mentioned that Arizona's are, yeah, definitely they, on the climb. They, uh, they're figuring it out, man. They're, they their quarterback, what's his name? He's got a funny name. Fafita? Yeah. Fafita? Fafita? Fafita. Fajima, Fafita. I think it's Fafita. Noah Fafita. Was that a number two at the Mexican place? <laughs> <laughs> I need the Fajita. Oh, and James Madison. Won yeah, I did. Now I caught some of that game. That wasn't a Texas one. That was a pretty good. Yeah, now what? Texas played BYU. 35 6. I mean, that's it what it should be. Murphy, 100. Which BYU's not had a bad year, but Texas just manhandled them defensively. Well, Brooks ran wild. How many did he wind up? Probably over 200. 120 something. Over 100, yes. Okay. Murphy had. But BYU beat Arkansas. BYU did beat Arkansas. Let's see exactly. Now, before we get out of the, the, the Pac 12, we're going to stay out west one more game and then we're going to finish with SEC. Coach Prime says we had no big plays and no real touchdowns in the first half comments. Um, Murphy winds up getting sacked. He keeps the ball. Colorado at the 20 yard line. They had to punt one minute left. Big pass play by Moore, by, um, they wasn't by UCLA. Moore wasn't the quarterback that night. They played another guy. Then Hunter, Travis Hunter missed on a, on a coverage play. Um, then they wind up getting the ball back. Colorado, they, they pop the ball and, and Ron Miller knocks the ball loose. Just a great tackle. Head across, uh-huh. shoulder in the body. They get the ball. The bus get down there on the twenty yard line. Uh-huh. Um, they just really couldn't finish the game. He threw, had two picks and two fumbles for UCLA right there at that part of the game. And at, at the half, and that's just kind of wound up twenty eight to sixteen. UCLA was too too much and too bodied. And Coach Prime had said, "We got to be them," because uh-huh. he said. Travis Hunter, he is him because his shoes says I am him on his. He's right on his shoes says I am him. Oh really? So Coach Sanders says we got to be them. We're just not showing up offensively. Shador was sacked a dozen times. He's hurt, ankles hurt, ribs bruised. Uh, he's got uh, something maybe in his back. So he got beat up. They only rushed for about forty yards again. He got they? beat up. He said we cannot run the ball, and we mm. got to figure out a way. Coach is me, the coach. I got to figure out a way to scheme around to save our quarterback, meaning my son, from just getting – because he they just tore him to pieces. Yeah, they only had 240 yards yeah. offense, which is not many. <clears> that <throat> UCLA had 500. I mean, they had two field goals at halftime. It's just – guys, why is this a big surprise? I told you in the summer they're going to win five. I said, if they win six, please go back and watch it. There's a picture of Dion with a pile of cash and a buffalo. Watch that show. I said, if they win six, Bill Dion, a statue out there. Yeah, and the winning. score don't look that bad, 28-16. I mean, no, not- and they hung on. And there was opportunities for them to maybe even win that game. Mm-hmm. They blew some of those chances and, and some penalties. They've cleaned up the penalties. I think they had 12 week before, and they only had like eight, six or eight this week. So he's trying to build something. They come out on fire. Nobody knew nothing about them. They punched TC right in the nose, and they had no idea what was going on. And before they knew it, they had their pants pulled down and got spanked. Mm-hmm. Colorado just handled business. But uh, Coach Prime said, we've been in most of all these games that we've lost except one. Except Oregon. He said, they're really good. Yeah. yeah. They're complete. Now, I mean, had Stanford beat, they really should be five and three. Yeah. He was very upset over that. They twenty nine that. They overblowing a twenty nine point can't lead. Give that ball game away like that. No, they've been. I'm not going to say they've been humbled, but yeah. if they were arrogant, they had been. But they knew that was coming. I don't know that they were arrogant. I think the media portrayed it like that's they were. What it, well, it's because it's it's Dion. Yeah, they, and they're it's it's Dion. You got a celebrity coaching the team. It's like when Trump took off as president. Uh-huh. It's probably the same way as it was. I don't remember. Deeply, deeply, when Reagan, you know, took office. But we all knew that he was an actor from California. When those type of things happen, this is what happens, and especially these days right. with Instagram and Twitter. And he got his son with a camera recording every practice. They're putting it out there for everybody right. to see. So this is kind of what happened. So um, it's like the guy dating the country star, Swift. You know? Yeah. I mean, we get to hear about this every day. Yes. Uh, yeah, nobody really cares. No, and I don't. I've never figured out why. And I know people got like that about Colorado. I mean, now you can't find. Was Colorado on? They wasn't on a prime time station, though, yeah. were they? 
uh, thanks on like mostly on Fox. Yeah, Fox, I think Clyde yeah. or one of them usually. I enjoy. I mean, I wish him the best. I've never been. I like Dion. Twenty eight to 16, sixteen was the final, was the final score, and I think Shadour wound up with. I must want to see what he had. Two hundred seventeen. They only rushed for twenty five yards. That's oh, a loss. Twenty five. That's a loss. Uh, total team yards for Colorado's two forty two, and uh, UCLA had four hundred eighty seven. Mm. And Moore didn't play. Uh, no, he's not playing. It, they played the. Is he hurt? Garbers. No, but they, he's just throwing. He keeps throwing picks in the games. Okay. So, uh, and we'll move out from the West and, and we'll get back over here to Auburn. Oregon State will come to Colorado, four and four Colorado and uh, Arizona, Washington State, and they'll finish with Utah. So, um, say, Dane, that, say that again. Uh, Okay, go back over their game for more. Oregon State, Arizona, Washington State, Utah. I, they won't win another game. Maybe one. You think they'll beat Utah? No. No, maybe Washington State. I don't think so. They're both four and four. It'll be a great game. And it's at Washington State, so I'm going to go with them. And it's going to be – They're not going to be there. Arizona's on a roll. <clears throat> it's going to be mid-November, the 17th uh-huh. Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, they could they, easily go for it. So there. being where it's at – Mm-hmm. You know where it's like in that part of the country, late November. Yeah, bad. you know what the weather. Uh, they might not win another game. So if they win five, then if they've gone, if they win, yeah, I, I'm going to go on and make this prediction right now. And you heard it on the Matt and Todd show. Colorado's not going bowling. No, they're not. No, five and eight would be five. Yeah, you had a winning four. I had a winning five. Yeah, 